Well, I can tell you a lot of parents can relate to this worrying about your kids out there on the football field. Well, one local mom turned that worry into action, donating $10,000 worth of top of the line helmets to her son's football team. And she joins us now in studio this morning, Dr. Whitney Shoemaker. Whitney, thanks so much for being here this Thank morning. You. I am so glad you came to talk to us about this. All right, so your son goes to Father Lopez Catholic High School in Daytona Beach. Uh, what gave you the idea to, to make this donation? Well, I had a very close family friend of mine who was a um, a person who had a degenerative concussive disease state. He still is a record holder at University of Florida, and he unfortunately died of that disease. And when my son decided that he wanted to play football, I said, well, first of all, you're not going to play football until high school. And he is at my high school. Mm -hmm. And um, when he wanted to do that, we went to the football meeting, and the vices rep was there um, of the, these helmets. And I looked into this helmet, and it is the number one rated helmet for decreasing concussive of rates and decreasing the these disease states and when we did this only one or two students were able to afford these helmets mm. and to me that just wasn't acceptable and so I decided I would go to the school and to the coach and I said this is something I need to do because I did not want my son to unfortunately end up like my close family friend. You said only one or two kids could afford these helmets. What do each of these helmets cost then just about? I think it's around nine or nine hundred and fifty dollars. And so you decided, listen, I'm going to just donate these helmets to all of these kids so that these kids can be safe when they're out there on the field. And you did it for your son, but you also did it because you wanted all the kids well, out there to be safe. Each of these kids are like my son. Right. 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 And so. Well, that makes you a little emotional. I can see that. Well, also. Last night, I did receive a very nice note from my family friend's widow, and she said he would be so proud that his disease state and his life and what happened to him made such an impact mm. on what happened um, f for you giving these helmets, mm -hmm. and that his death did not go for nothing and in vain and to me that was just so special and that I received that text last night knowing I was going to come here and talk to you today. Isn't that something how that happened last night and really, here you are speaking with us today. It really did. You know another wonderful thing that happened is that you were actually honored right on the field. I was. Tell that, me about that. That was so special and I was on the field at my alma mater and I received this varsity letter with a football pin and my son was proud of me and Aww. he was there and there's just nothing more special than that to go home to my my school and to be honored like that and it was very special. I think we just saw a picture of your son. He's a big guy. <laughs> He's very big. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and he, he was preemie. What? He was a preemie, yes. And how big is he now? He's 6'2", 280 pounds. I can see that. He's yes. a big boy. Absolutely. <laughs> a big boy. How are the helmets working out so far? They, they're very good. There still have been some concussions. I believe there's been um, three or four, but I feel that maybe without those helmets, there have been 33 or 34. And this is all I have right now to put between him and another player or him in the ground. And when I felt like he wanted to play football, I said, I have to... I have to hit this head on, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give him a vice's helmet and every child on that team, and I will continue to do that as long as I am alive. Even Those after your son graduates? Oh, after he graduates, um, I'm going to continue to do that. Now, my other son may not go to Father Lopez, so whatever school he goes to, Vices Helmets. Vices Helmets. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't tell you how uh, thankful I'm sure the parents and the students alike are for what you do. And we're thankful that you stopped by here this morning Thank to you tell so much. your story. So Thank nice you to meet so you. Much. Nice to meet you. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning.